So, how do you get access to materials when you're offline? Well, I am running the Global Connect VPN. I'm going through secure-connect.psu.edu. Um, I've logged in. If you have any problems, I strongly suggest quitting all of your, uh, your browser, um, starting the Global Connect, and then logging in again. Um, Science Direct has been finicky at times. Once you've done that, then there is a direct link for getting to the energy books. This has been selected to go with books and handbooks. There's only a couple of textbooks currently, so I wouldn't bother with that setting. And most importantly, supplied and complementary. Um, I know you're going to search, but when you search, you're not going to find a book on the to or topic which you need. Um, there are advanced search options where you can look at specific book chapters, but quite often you're going to be overwhelmed with information. So the better way of going through this is to find a good book. So let's say I am interested, and I'm going to select all so I can scroll easier. If I'm interested in the flashpoint for jet fuel, again, there is no book written on that. But if I was to look at books that would be picked, uh, interesting, um, here's one on biofuels for aviation, which is promising. I'm going to go there and look at the table of contents. I'm going to go to the index. And if I look for Flashpoint, and again, I, it is well worth uh, scrolling when you find a good book. Um, it's well worth um, scrolling. For example, here's something on additives. It's caught my eye. Thermal stability additives. I'm not sure if that's high temperature or low temperature. Um, there's going to be information on ASTMs. For example, over here, flashpoint, flashpoint reduction. And that's page 42, which means it's probably very early in the system. And if I keep going, because I'm particularly interested in Flashpoint, but again, I would read, get a sense of what you have access to, particularly because you're looking at other things like um, viscosities, etc. We've got fuel handling at 70. Um, Here we've got Flashpoint. I'm probably going to look at page 40 to 41. There's two pages on Flashpoint. So 40 to 41. All right. So if I go back to where I was, probably under overview of the sector. Certification and performance, download PDF. Um, I had full access, which I was aware of, because it tells me when I look at the chapters and the books. Um, do download this so you don't have to go through this again when you uh, need to look it up and find something that is um, related. And of course, I can skip down and find what the minimum flash point is for a jet fuel A-1. So if I don't have, um, if I want to go through Canvas, how do I get there? Well, let's go through PSU Library Database. And of course, you always have the, act the option of going to the library and using one of their computers because it knows that you have access. But you're uh, at a Penn State computer. The VPN tells you, that, tells the system that you have access when you're away from the uh, university. Um, so database, I'm going to S for Science Direct. That's the Elsevier um, collection of books. There are lots and lots of books, way too many. I'm going to take them to the database. And so one way of stopping us from being overwhelmed is to use the um, 
physical science and engineering, the energy cluster. And again, because there are thousands of books before you get to, um, sorry, thousands and thousands of journal articles before you get to um, find a book, I'm going to limit it to books, handbooks, or my publication type. And supplementary, subscribed and complementary. And here we go. And I'm going to find the book that I want. So that's how you have access. Again, find good books, go to the index, find the right chapter, use that as an approach. If you're going to do more advanced searches, limit it to book chapters, but you're going to get overwhelmed. So this is the uh, more appropriate um, approach.